Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and I'm coming with another summer tutorial with this large colorful seed beads earring with a heart shaped petals or with a clover petals, call them whatever you like. If you're new here, consider subscribing and hitting the bell button to be inspired often, usually twice a week, and to make beautiful sets for presents and for yourself. If you're not new here, you could skip this intro and go directly through the work itself, but I have just a few more words to say. Down there in description, you will find a full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials, mainly on my Facebook and Instagram pages. Thank you so much for liking, sharing and commenting. You don't know how much you help me only with this action. And you could also check my second channel with the fast clips. And now I'm going to start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are four colors of 11 on seed beads. You could use 10 on seed beads if you want. They are black, light green, yellow and orange. You could choose other colors of your choice. And these are earring findings in black color. You could use silver or other color you like. This is monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches to 0 0.15 millimeters. You could use fireline or other beading thread of your choice. Don't use soft nylon thread because with the large earrings it won't keep the shape good. This is size 10 beading needle and these are scissors. You could also use pliers to go through the difficult beads, but they are not obligatory. Okay, and now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm back and I'm going to pick up 12 of these beautiful black beads. Okay, and I have my 12 on my needle and I'm going to slide those down. I will stick my needle in my mat and here I'm going to make a knot and I'm making it by making a loop going twice through the loop I've made and pull like this and then I will make one more knot just to be sure it's all nice tight and secure and in my next step guys I'm going through some beads in this direction and now I have this beautiful circle of black beads and I'm going to start adding my next row and it will consist of one orange bead, three yellows and one orange. Okay, this is what I have. These are five beads, orange, three yellows and orange. Okay, as I'm exiting here through this black bead, I'm going through the same bead back in circle. Okay, just like this. Now I have this. Then you see uh, here is a loop between this bead and this newly added five beads. And I pull. Then I will go through the following two black beads. And I'm going to repeat the same thing, an orange, three yellows and an orange. Okay. And as I'm exiting here from this uh, black bead, I'm going back through it in circle, just like this. Okay. So now I have this. And I'm going to repeat it, go through two beads in this direction. Okay. Take the same sequence of beads and go back and this time guys go through the next two beads as well you see what i do at this step i do this because i want to save time okay uh, usually i was doing going around only through this beat and then after these two but now i'm saving time i'm saving one movement okay and i'll show you this until the end a little bit faster. If it's too fast for you, rewind and see how I'm doing the slower part. Ok, 
okay and here I'm adding my last sixth petal here and you know you work correctly if you have one bead space between this petal and this petal one black beads of space okay so in my next step what I want to do is go in this direction and exit out of this yellow bead here at the top and I'm going to take guys two yellows one green and two yellow beads okay this is what I have and I'm going here through this yellow through the next yellow that's sticking out the most okay then again two yellows one light green and two yellows okay this is what I have and I'm going here through this bit that is sticking out the most okay and I will repeat these steps until the end and when I'm up to here I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and here I am at my last step and pay attention where I go go here through this yellow don't make the mistake to go through the next yellow sometimes beginners make this mistake I was doing it in the beginning as well okay so now I go through two yellows and exit out of this green and in my next step I'm taking two green beads one black and two green beads okay here is what I take and I go back in circle through this green one here just like this then I go in the next yellow beads in this direction and my goal guys is to exit out of the next green and here I will take the same sequence of beads two greens one black and two greens going like this and exiting out of the next green I'll show you one more time and let you do this by yourself until the end okay like this okay see you in a while okay guys and here I am where I'm adding my last green beads from this row and what I want to do in my next step is exit out of this green and now I'm going to add six of my orange beads okay I have my six here and as I'm exiting through those greens I'm going through the other two greens in this direction okay then what I do is that I go like this and I go like this in the next green and I'm going to pick up six orange beads okay I have six orange beads and I'm going like this and I'm going to add six more okay and I will continue this three more times and meet you okay guys and now I'm here and I'm adding here my last six beads from this row now I have this and I will continue with my next row okay and for my next row 
what I want to do is reach this orange part and I'm going through four of those orange beads and I'm going to take five yellows okay five and I'm going back like this then what I do guys is that I want to reach again this green part I know I've been a lot of times through it but I still have this possibility to go a little bit more and I'm adding three green black and green and this is the last time I'm going around using size 10 beading needle and this thread there is no problem to go like this then I'm exiting here four beads away from here through these two middle beads okay and I have five here five and go back through these two beads like this then I want to add another row of green and black but in order to do this I will reposition a little bit okay a green a black and a green and I go like this then go through these two greens not through the last one go here and again add five okay and go back like this okay guys and i will continue this until the end and when i'm ready i'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and I'm here where I'm just adding this last green black green and what I do is the same thing I go around those beads okay and I will exit here out of this green now I'm going to take two orange beads and I'm going here like this then through these three top beads then again two orange beads and go here in the green like this then through the black here and through the following green and I need two orange beads I'm going here and through these three top yellow beads then two orange beads go here through the orange uh, through the green sorry through the black and through the following green okay 
then again I'm going to take two orange beads and go through these top three beads and two more orange beads and go through the green go through the black and go through the green okay and i will repeat these guys until the end and when i'm ready i'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and here i am where i'm adding my last two orange beads and what i want to do next guys is go through this green in this direction and I'm going to pick up nine green beads. Okay, I have my nine light green beads. And as I'm exiting here through this bead, I'm going in the central yellow bead. Just like this. Here is where the heart shape is forming. okay nine again and i'm going here in the green heart shape or clover shape call it whatever you like then i'm going here and my goal is to exit out of this green And I'm going to pick up nine. Okay, nine. And I'm going here in the center through this yellow. Like this. And then again, nine. Okay, nine. And I go like this. Okay, and continue this, guys, until the end and meet me here. Okay, guys, and here I'm adding my last nine beads from this row. Okay, just like this. Now, what I want to do is go one more time in this direction and add my last row of beads. Go through all of those green beads. The idea is to make these clover shaped petals to stay in a better shape. Okay, I'm going through one green bead away from the angle the angle bead is yellow. I'm taking three, okay, here, and I'm going here one green bead away from the angle. Okay, this is what I have. Now I want to exit five beads away from here one, two, three, four, five. So I want to exit here between those two beads. Okay, now my thread here is five beads away from this green here and I want to take one black bead and I want to count again one, two, three, four, five and after the fifth one between the fifth and the sixth bead I'm going like this. In this way I'm stabilizing my work then again, I'm going through all of those beads in this direction. Exiting one bead away from the angle. You see where my thread is. And I take three black beads. And I go one bead away from the angle. Just like this. 
then in this direction I want to exit 5 beats away from this green bead here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and I'm here 5 beats away and I take one black and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 beats away from here my thread should go after the fifth bead okay now I have this and then I will continue the same way going here one bead away from the angle taking three going like this then adding one black five beads away from the angle and I will continue this and when I'm up to here I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and here I am where I'm adding my last black bead from this row okay now if you feel your work is bending and you use monofilament you could put cotton cloth on it and iron it and you, it will stay absolutely flat if you have this problem you could try this so now what i want to do is go in this direction exit out of the central black bead take one orange then i'm going to take my earring finding slide those down take one more orange and i'm going back here like this attaching my earring findings be sure you close it well here because otherwise it will slip out okay so now i'm going to reinforce okay and after reinforcement it's time to make a knot and how i make it i make here a loop i go twice through the loop i've made and i pull and by the way you could repeat this knot several more times just to be sure it's all tight and secure and then after the last knot go through the following seed bead and cut your thread okay guys and now my large colorful earrings are ready okay guys and now my large summer colorful earrings with harp shaped petals are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button and in this way you won't miss a thing and you will be inspired often usually twice a week down there in description you will find the full list of materials link to my store link for paypal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials mainly on my facebook and instagram pages thank you for liking sharing and commenting thank you for being with me you could also check my second channel with the fast clips and bye bye from me